Hey guys, welcome back to Get Happy Outdoors. I'll be your host. My name is Happy, just in case you didn't know that already. Alright, so guys, this time uh, I'm putting together a few more episodes about some Montana rivers for you. Um, to keep you entertained throughout the winter. I know, I hope, I hope everybody out there is staying warm. Uh, keeping themselves occupied with, uh, you know, pine flies or, or getting ready for uh, hiking out for in the mountains to look for antlers, stuff like that. Um, but in the meantime, you guys need some entertainment, right? We all do. So that's what I'm putting together for you right here. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I started filming this right after I won the Montana State Field Archery Championship, um, which is pretty big accomplishment for me. I, I was very proud of myself for that. So you guys are lucky because you get this footage for free, right? So uh, I've been holding on to it for a little while, um, but uh, I'm breaking it up into a few different episodes and uh, it's all about the Beaverhead River in Montana. And uh, well, it gives you a few tips, a few, little bit of entertainment, uh, shows you what kind of fish are in the river. A um, couple ways to fish the, uh, the river itself and uh, be successful. And uh, well, you guys know me. I don't like keeping secrets, so I just can't hold on to this any longer. I got to start putting it out there into the world. And, you know, hopefully uh, some of you guys out there are like minded individuals, meaning that uh, you have uh, a good set of morals, um, you hold yourself accountable to uh, a code of ethics. Uh, I've been searching for an apprentice to pass down all my knowledge to. <laughs> Maybe it's you. So anyways guys, this is just an introduction to the Beaverhead River in Montana. Uh, a couple of ways to fish it. And uh, hey, I hope you enjoy because uh, there's more coming. So. So I hope this information helps you out if you ever visit the Beaverhead River. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, what one of the most successful setups is for the Beaverhead River. Okay, uh, As far as your leader goes, pretty much I never make my leader longer than my rod. Okay, So my bottom fly is right here hooks onto my cork, okay? My strike indicator is right up there, about three eye lengths down, okay? My leader itself comes to the very tip. So the reason for this is because when I'm fighting a fish and I land them by hand instead of using a net, which you never see me use, uh, you can actually control them a lot better when you get them into the rod's length away. Okay, your rod's gonna be bent a lot, so you're gonna have to hold it back here in order to get them, but at least you can get control of them, okay, as opposed to having a leader that's just too long. The river itself is maybe five or six feet deep at, at its deepest points. You don't need a long leader, okay? This length is just to get a good angle over the fish from the point where the weight is to the point where the strike indicator is. 
okay? The length, the shorter your leader, the shorter that length, uh, the more vertical your actual fly line is and your flies go. The way that I've set up my leader so that I'll have the best success on the Beaverhead River, I'm not saying this is the only way, but I've definitely had more success with the leader rigged the way it is here. What you want to do is your strike indicator being at the tip of your rod, about halfway down at about the four foot mark, four or five feet, uh, you want to tie on your lighter tippet, okay? For the beaver head, all the guides and everybody, they use 4X tippet or 3X tippet. It's not really good for these small, tiny flies. We're using size 20s down here, okay? Size 18s and 20s mostly, even 22s as well. So a heavier tippet is obviously not going to present that fly in a natural way to the fish, and the fish will obviously shrug it off as soon as they see the tippet tied to it. So that's why I go with a 5X tippet. I can still handle a big fish up to 24 inches with 5X tippet. Uh, and these fish do fight hard, so I recommend, you know, I, I use 4X tippet if I'm feeling like the fish are really fighting hard, but on a general basis, I usually use 5. Uh, if I'm in a river where I can actually finesse them and stuff, my favorite is 6X tippet. I love, work, I love using 6X tippet because I can finesse the fish, I can control the fish, uh, as long as they don't have a whole lot of fight and power to them, uh, then they're not going to snap it. And it's a lot better presentation for any fly I tie to it. So, But in this case, we're using a 5X tippet. Okay? The last four feet of your leader should be your light tippet. Okay? So when you're tying leader to leader, everybody knows how to do this, I hope, if you're fly fishing. Uh, you've got the tag ends that you cut off. Well, what you want to do for this particular setup is you want to leave one tag end about four inches long. Cut the other one off, and that one tag end is where you're actually going to tie your fly onto. Okay? Now you come down about 20 inches, cut that 4X tippet again, tie it back together just like you tie a leader to leader, and leave one long tag end. Okay? About 20 inches apart, 20 to 24 inches. And then you got about another four inches right there with the tag. You keep that tag, and that's what you tie your fly to. And then the rest of the leader is about 16 inches. At the very end of it, where you would normally tie a fly, is where you put your actual lead, okay? On this river, it's better to use a lot of lead than a little lead. You wanna see that thing scrape in the bottom, and the purpose of that is, is like I mentioned before, the length of your leader, you get more angle, your actual fly is going to pass the fish before your lead does. That's the whole purpose of it. In addition to that, you also get the benefit of not hooking on so many weeds because the lead is the only thing down at the bottom. Your actual flies are up above. So there's a lot of benefits to it. It works really well. Like I said before, about an eight foot long leader, eight to nine foot long leader is all you need. I put my strike indicator about eight and a half feet away from uh, the final fly from the last fly and it's been working really well This setup doesn't work uh, Very well on the big hole river uh, On the big hole river. It's best to just go with the you know plain old, you know fly at the end and Lead about 18 to 20 inches away from the fly and then other lead maybe 14 inches off of that if you need more weight uh, But that's my favorite way to fish uh, this, you get a lot of clumsy looking casts because you're flopping it out there. You can't whip it back and forth like you would uh, any other rig because it's just so awkward. But uh, it gets the job done. And, you know, hey, the casts may not look pretty. Don't worry about that. What you're worried about is getting the fly in front of the fish. That's the whole point of it. So, hope this helps you out. If you ever go to the
Hookup footage attempt, take one. Big rainbow. Ah, he's starting to give up now. He's looking for some slower water. Oh. <laughs> All that fighting. Woo! All the way upstream to my packing and back down. Oh man. Fun, fun. Gotta love this. This is how you get happy right here. Even though you lose a big fish like that, you had him on. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, hey, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right. It's. Right over there. I don't know where it is. One of, somewhere. Find it. <laughs> and uh, hey, tell, a pe tell your friends about this video. Uh, all the videos on my channel. Um, we need more viewers, guys. I need, to, I need to see more people interested in what I'm doing. Uh, I put a lot of effort into these videos. And uh, sharing these secrets is not easy. Alright, so please, show me how much you appreciate it. Alright? Until the next one, guys, get happy outdoors. Get happy outdoors. Get, get, get happy. Happy. Get happy. Now let's get happy. 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 Get happy outdoors. Happy. Now let's get happy. 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 Outdoors. Outdoors. Happy. Outdoors. <laughs> Whoa. That's a tiger trap. Get happy outdoors.